Gas explosions are not, unfortunately, an uncommon occurrence. And yet, uh, at least one person's died and three others injured after a gas explosion yesterday in a flat in Bedford. Bedfordshire Fire and Rescue described the blast as a major incident. Well, that was after another gas explosion, you may remember, in Birmingham last week. So, should we be concerned about these and what can you do to protect yourself uh, about all of that? Uh, Shweb Awan uh, joins us now. Shweb's a commercial gas engineer. And I look at these things, Schweb, and I go, well, first of all, there must have been a clue. There must have been a clue. You must have been able to hear something or smell something. Not necessarily so, or what would you say? You, well, gas does have a smell to it, so you can pick up that and you will know there is a gas leak. However, a lot of it is down to negligence um, in terms of the companies that are actually working on flats and properties that don't actually do the thorough checks that they're supposed to be doing. Also, it's a lot of the builders that are now trying to cut corners. They're not using gas engineers to do the work. Most of them are using just labourers or just to lay the pipes. They don't understand the concept of pipe sizing, the fittings that are supposed to be used correctly. And once everything's buried under the floor, you it's all closed. You can't go back there. and uh, reinspect. I think. You have concrete's you, poured on top of it. Exactly. Uh, also, with concrete as well, it does react to copper and it will corrode the copper over time if it's not sleeved, if it's not uh, yeah. dental taped. Mm. So that can cause a leak over time. It's so frightening. I mean, the pictures of these two explosions in the last two weeks have been absolutely catastrophic. And the fact that there have been lives lost as well makes it all the more tragic. I mean, is it really unusual to have these sorts of levels and size of explosions? It's not that common. However, I was reading the news and it did say that they were trying to use a stove just to cut the cost of the gas mm. and all the energy prices that have gone up. That's, that was a new one for me. However, as I said, in something on that scale, when, when these flats and buildings are built, they are built really fast. Yeah. And but then, I mean, there are building standards and whatever. How, how come what you're talking about, and it's all part of what we would term as shrinkflation. You know, you buy a bar of chocolate and it's smaller than it used to be, but it's uh, probably more expensive or a pizza or whatever, whatever. But this has to go on in manufacturing cars, building roads, building houses mm -hmm. and apartment blocks as well. I mean, would you say that's the, the case? It is the case. Um, I do believe that. But then again, it, it all comes down to the cost well, yes, on which they'll say a gas engineer like you yeah. is going to be more expensive than getting a labourer to roughly fit a few parts together. But that's, um, that's false correct. economy, you think? It is. But you, you can't play with gas. At the end of the day, from the metre onwards, the gas engineer is supposed to be responsible for all the pipe work that goes in, not just mm -hmm. the appliance itself. Then you've got the servicing of it. Then, you, you know, it's a yearly service that's got to be carried out. And if it's not done correctly... It can cause a leak, can cause a problem. I just bought a property in Devon just recently, and obviously it's for rental purposes. I went there. Somebody has passed the gas on it. Somebody passed the... Everything is fine with it. I've got the certificate for it. But when I actually went in there to test it myself, there was a four millibar drop on it. And I couldn't leave it as that. I yep. couldn't sleep at night knowing there's a leak in the yeah. house, no matter how small it is. Uh -huh. And it was a cooker fitting mm -hmm. that had just was seeping out. So just I put a gas in it and out and had to fix that. Gosh. So it's, that's what I was saying. So it's not, it's not just that, it's the whole industry. They're not doing so, the work properly. So there could be leaks in all our homes, yeah. I mean, in all our businesses, that um, none of us know about. What's your advice? To get your gas checks done quite a, a yearly at least, not just because it's a commercial property or it's got to be in your personal home. Just get it checked. And that's the safest, safest way to be. Good advice. It really is frightening. Uh, Shweb Awan, thank you very much for coming in this morning and Thanks talking to us about it. Thank you. Well, now you know.